Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. A face again. I'm down in my basement in the studio that I'm building uh, for down here to make videos of this stuff. So um, that's why it's the weird surrounding and I don't have a car to show you as a prop. However, 2024 Atlases are on a truck on the way to us right now. So hopefully I'll have them tomorrow or the next day um, on my lot. And I won't, I can't guarantee you when I'll get a video uploaded of them. But they are coming, and they're coming soon. Uh, same with the Crossport. We have Crossports that are coming to us that are currently on a train. So what I want to cover in this video here is the 2024 changes and updates that we know of. So that's going to be uh, Tiguan, Taos, Jetta GLI, Jetta, um, and then, of course, Atlas Crossport and Atlas. And I'm going to do these kind of from the bottom up. Because everybody cares, everybody's going to want to hear about the Atlas. Not everybody's going to want to hear about the Tiguan or these other ones. Um, Tiguan, for those of you that think this is getting a this is getting a huge refresh or anything like that, nothing of the sort. It just got refreshed in 2022, so it's not due for one. Neither is Jetta. Uh, but we'll start with Tiguan. Tiguan's going to get some pretty surprising updates here, and I'm using my iPad here to go over stuff. So I'll go through these with you. Overall, there were no changes to 2024 Tiguan. Um, certain trims do get upgra upgrades and tweaks. Uh, I will go through those. So starting with Tiguan S, we'll start at the base and move up from there. Tiguan S will now get IQ Drive standard. So IQ Drive with travel assist, emergency assist, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, and lane assist and active side assist, that's your blind spot monitoring, are now standard on the car. Okay, I don't know that that means that doesn't guarantee that they're not going to be deletes because 2022 and 2023 were full of deletes for those cars, uh, for the for those items. Uh, auto dimming rear view mirror is now standard, just like Jetta. Um, rain sensing wipers or rain sensor for the wipers, uh, leather wrap, wrap steering wheel, wireless app connect, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are coming to the Tiguan S. However. They won't be immediately available at the first run of 2024 as they come later in the model year, but they're coming. So you're going to be able to get wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay on a, tic, on a, on a base Tiguan. Um, also, um, online services with OCU, so that means uh, the car net stuff, remote locking, remote start, all of that stuff. Well, maybe not remote start, but the other f uh, facets of car net are going to be available. Satellite radio reception is going to be available. So you're getting the new Composition Media MIB-3. So there's a new radio coming that will give you satellite, satellite radio in addition to AM and FM. That's a huge change. On-demand Discover Media Navigation. Not sure what that means, but you may be able to subscribe to Navigation or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, and then a rear view camera system. Um... Again, not sure what these these are. These all have asterisks by them as they're coming later in the model year. So until we know what those are for sure, I got no idea. Um, Tiguan SE. Tiguan SE, uh, no changes to it. Now, Tiguan SE R-Line. Here's some changes. SE R-Line now comes in King's Red. That may not sound like a big deal, but there's been so many people who said, man... A R-Line Black Edition would look great in red. Why don't they make it in red? Why is it only black, white, gray, and silver? These boring colors. Well, that red's going to pop. And with that red, you'll be able to get a black interior or a um, gray interior. So you'll be able to get um, light gray uh, or that, that uh, storm gray, I believe it used to be called, or um, uh, black. So that will be the change there. And I'm going to double check that once I get done with this video too. There might be an option for cinnamon, cinnamon in that car uh, with red. But being it's a new model year, they may have gotten right away from the red and cinnamon combo. So I might have to tweak that. But right now, I think that's red and gray for that for that color combo or red and black. Then SEL R line. The only change here, once again, red. You can now get an SEL R line. In red, the top of, to top of the line Tiguan in red. So if you're looking for that car, there's going to be a lot of people clamoring for that. People who look for red cars or want red cars are few and far between. They're, they're not a, that's not a common 
person out there that looks for that, but it looks so sharp. If you're looking specifically for that King's Red on a Tiguan uh, SER line or SER line, I'd suggest you order it now with a dealer or at least uh, put in a request to order it now. Um, so now we'll go back to uh, Taos, 2024 Taos. Changes in 2024. Overall, there's no changes to it. Taos S, though, does get upgrades. Tweaks. Okay, so Taos S. For 2024, we'll get painted rear interior door handle trim. Not too sure what that's going to look like. They also get armrest stitching. So now the leatherette on the inside is just kind of plain. They're getting stitching with that. IQ drive is now standard with adaptive cruise control, lane assist, emergency assist, light assist, which is your automatic high beams and low beams, and rain sensor. That's cool. On a Taos S, automatic high beams and low beams. Leatherette heated steering wheel. That's a big one too. Okay, so that's the changes for Taos S. Also in 2024, Taos SE, dual zone climatronic. So they're going from the single zone for the climate control knobs to a dual zone. Also front door stitching, SE black package. That's going to come out later. Uh, that's going to be black roof, wheels, and exterior elements. Also, there's going to be uh, blue interior stitching on that uh, black package. So they're doing an SE. Not an R line, but an SE black package. Um, and then on SEL, let's see, I don't think there's any changes. Uh, there's an additional, an additional three-line stitching uh, for Taos SEL. So those are minor tweaks. So if we go back uh, to Jetta GLI, Jetta GLI 2024, the only change that I have right now, 40th anniversary edition. There will be an Autobahn and a 40th. The 40th will have all new content. That's all it says. All new content. Not sure what that means. Autobahn. Autobahn's going to get a new Phantom Black Wheel package. Heated steering wheel is also coming to the GLI. So those are the changes for GLI. Jetta. If we can go back to Jetta here. And again, I'm using my iPad here, so I'm sorry I'm looking down a lot here. Jetta overall, no changes. Jetta S, if we go to Jetta S, the changes for Jetta S, IQ drive is now standard for automatic transmission only. Uh, that's autonomous emergency braking, lane assist, adaptive cruise control with stop and go. Uh, if you have a, um, also you get um, IQ drive on the manual transmission. The way it reads here, it says automatic only, but there's some things here that you get with IQ drive on a manual that you won't have on the automatic. So one of those things is traffic jam assist. That's manual transmission only. Uh, emergency assist is only going to be on the automatic, of course, because uh, it doesn't do anything with the clutch. An eco leather steering wheel. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Um, auto dimming rear view mirror. Rain sensor for rain sensing wipers. And a gear shift knob that's covered in leather. Okay. So that is probably for the manual. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that means there. Uh, gear shift knob and leather. That's a that would be a big change. Um, let's see here. Uh, Jetta Sport. It's the next one up. Now Jetta Sport gets some some bigger changes here. IQ drive, automatic transmission, uh, autonomous emergency braking, front assist, um, lane assist, adaptive cruise control with stop and go. Again, again automatic transmission only. Traffic gym assist for the manual, um, emergency assist for the automatic only, eco leather steering wheel, auto dimming rear view mirror, rain sensor wipers, or rain sensor it says, uh, gear shift knob and leather, heated front seats are now added to the Jetta Sport. Um, space and weight saving spare wheel and tool kit with a special jack is now available for the Jetta Sport is a 2024. So Jetta S and Jetta Sport for 2023 did not have a spare tire. Looks like they're going to give you a spare tire in 2024 for the Jetta uh, Sport. Jetta SE. I don't think there's any changes there. Nope, they are not. Uh, and Jetta SEL, not sure about any changes there either. There are no changes there. I'm looking. It's taking a second to load while I hit these here. Um, ID4, we don't have any changes yet. Golf GTI and Golf R, we don't have any changes yet. The big boy here now, Atlas Crossport. Big changes overall on Atlas Crossport. This is where all of the changes are. Every single Atlas, Atlas Crossport gets a two liter turbo, four cylinder, 269 horsepower engine with 273 foot pounds of torque. So this thing's gonna be faster than it was as a V6 or the old four cylinder. 
um, or it's going to feel faster because it's got more torque at 1600 RPM, which is really early in a power band. Uh, 12 inch touchscreen display, multifunction, uh, a 12 inch touchscreen multifunction center display, uh, steering wheel mounted pad, uh, shift paddles, exit warning system, seat belt reminder for front and rear. Uh, direct tire pressure monitoring system, so you're now you're going to be able to tell it's going to be able to give you pressure sense tire pressure readings for all four or each tire independently. Um, 45 watt fast charging USB front and rear illuminated storage area below center console illuminated interior door handles and illuminated front cup holders. Big changes for the SE. SE now has the digital cockpit Pro 10 inch. 10 and a quarter inches to say, uh, MIB3 composition media, driving mode selection with eco mode, wireless app connect, so that's a huge one, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto on a, a SE, the base model cross sport, um, two zone climatronic, uh, voice control, uh, wireless charging, ventilated front seats, that's a new one, Ad uh, manually adjusted front seat, including height, LED headlights, uh, with adaptive front lighting, so they actually steer. When you steer the steering wheel, the headlights turn. Um, let's see here. Sirius XM radio with uh, 360L subscription. So you'll be able to get Sirius XM radio now because you're getting wireless charging too. Uh, heated steering wheel is now added as well. That's another huge one. And then we get travel assist. I'm sorry, IQ drive with travel assist 2.0, which means you have adaptive cruise control, lane assist, um, emergency assist and front assist which are collision warning pedestrian and cyclist uh, monitoring you move up to an SE tech here's another big change big change driving slow mode selector with eco mode 20 inch five spoke machined alloy wheels I just teased a video uh, on my page uh, of an SE tech that was at our sister store those wheels are not a standard machine black and silver wheels for the car there's no pictures of it anywhere really there is a picture of it right here, but it doesn't do it justice. Um, that video, you'll see those, and I have some snapshots of them too that I'll post on the page. Uh, integrated LED light bar and uh, in the front grill. Integrated or illuminated front and rear Volkswagen logos. The one in, in the front is white, the one on the back is red. Rear fascia with integrated uh, red light bar. Uh, manually adjusted front seat, including height. That's a change, that's a positive change for the SE Tech. Uh, so the passenger can actually raise and lower their seat now. Um, LED headlights with adaptive front lighting, so you can steer those headlights as well. Uh, heated steering wheel and IQ drive. So now you have travel assist 2.0, lane assist, emergency assist, front assist, for pedestrian and cyclist monitoring. Those are big changes. That's going to make that car popular. And the same changes that you or uh, other options that you had before, you can add captain's chairs. I think you can still do a black wheel package and you can still add a panoramic sunroof to the SE Tech. It doesn't come standard with it. Next up will be, uh, oh wait, on the SE Tech, uh, one other thing, there will be a Peak Edition. Peak Edition comes in avocado gray, green, pure gray, black, or I believe white is the other color, with black leather red interior with orange uh, piping. It will say Peak Edition. Uh, on the outside of the car, 18-inch black wheels with 18-inch uh, knobby tires or off-road tires. They're more rugged tires on that car. So there are two trims in SE Tech. There's a regular SE Tech, front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, and then the Peak Edition will be all-wheel drive only uh, with a panoramic sunroof on it. All right, so moving up to SEL. SEL and SEL R-Line. on. Oh, sorry, I'm talking about a cross-board. Scratch what I said about a Peak Edition. I inserted that there. That's 4024 Atlas. Sorry. Uh, we were talking about cross-board, and I got off topic there. I apologize for that. SEL and SEL R-Line on a cross-board. Illuminated light bar, front and rear. Um, illumin and illuminated front and rear logos. Illuminated door pockets, front and rear. Factory installed hitch. Uh, 30 color adjustable ambient light for um, the interior of the car and that goes from the front from the front to the side doors to the back doors uh, rear fascia with the integrated light bar leather seats that's another change real leather seats now not leatherette heated rear outboard seating the front seats are heated and ventilated now you have predictive ACC, adaptive cruise control. Predictive adaptive cruise control uses your GPS location and dynamic sign display to figure out 
if you're one of those areas like you're driving on a back road in a small town where it goes from 55 to 45 to 35 to 25. It predicts it and it adjusts your speed accordingly in advance. That's awesome. Okay. Um, then also front assist, autonomous emergency braking with, uh, with uh, pedestrian and cyclist monitoring. What's gone, what's deleted. SER line black edition, gone. Um, and the V6 engine, of course, is gone. Now, uh, go to the SEL and SEL Premium. I'm sorry, the SEL Premium, excuse me. SEL Premium R-Line. That's all they're offering um, there. Uh, it's integrated light bar, front grille, illuminated front and rear logos, rear fascia with red light bar, illuminated door pockets, seat inserts with diamond stitch pattern. Car Harman Kardon Audio, heads up display. Uh, by the way, the heads up display, it missed it on the other one. Heads up display on the SEL and uh, SEL R-Line on the crossboard as well. Uh, predictive ACC, easy open tailgate with easy close, front assist. Um, now they're adding easy close to easy uh, open. So you kick to open and I believe you can still kick again to close. Um, and then that front assist with uh, pedestrian monitoring and cycling. Um, so those are the big changes there. Uh, now we go to Atlas. I don't have changes for Ardeon. For those of you who are wondering, we don't have those yet. So overall, the changes for Ardeon, I'm sorry, Atlas, full-size Atlas, the 2.0, again, just like Crossport, no V6. Uh, the 12-inch touchscreen center display, steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, exit warning system, seat belt reminder in all three rows, direct tire pressure monitoring, 45-watt fast charging, illuminated storing area, storage area underneath center front console, Illuminated interior door handles and illuminated front cup holders. That's on every Atlas. Every Atlas. Okay. SE. SE now. This is the base model. It used to be about 39 grand. Now it's going to be about 40 grand. Uh, but standard uh, options on this car now. Everything that's coming new on it for 2024. Digital cockpit 10.25. MIB3 composition media. Uh, driving mode selector with, selection with eco mode. Wireless app connect, so wireless charging is now on an Atlas SE. Um, three zone climatronic instead of uh, single zone climatronic um, or uh, climate control. Uh, ventilated front seats, manually adjusted front seat, including height, Sirius XM radio, uh, LED headlights with adaptive front steering where you steer the, uh, the headlights with the steering wheel, um, heated steering wheel. IQ drive is now standard, travel assist 2.0, which are adaptive cruise control, lane assist, emergency assist, and front assist. Uh, you move up to SE with technology. SE with tech. Um, this is on the full-size Atlas, because uh, I got twisted up there a minute ago. Um, driving mode with eco mode, 20-inch, five-spoke machine, silver and black wheels, LED light bar, illuminated front light bar, and uh, illuminated uh, front and rear logos. Uh, rear fascia with integrated red light bar, manual adjusted seat adjust, uh, up and down, factory installed trailer hitch, uh, easy open tailgate, easy open, easy close, uh, LED headlights with adaptive front lighting, heated steering wheel, the Peak Edition is available, all wheel drive um, trim, and it comes with a sunroof in that one, and it's only all wheel drive, those 18 inch wheels, they're black wheels, and the uh, off-road tires. Um, and then IQ Drive with uh, Travel Assist 2.0, Lane Assist, Emergency Assist, Front Assist, Autonomous Emergency Braking, and of course the V6 engine is gone. Atlas SEL. Atlas SEL now comes with the integrated uh, LED light bar, um, illuminated front and rear Volkswagen logos, illuminated po door pockets, front and second row, uh, factory installed trailer hitch, 30 color ambient lighting, uh, and when you get this ambient lighting, the 30 color ambient lighting, it comes in the SEL and the SEL R-Line on the Crossport, as well as the SEL Premium. And then on this, this SEL Atlas and the SEL Premium Atlas, there's also lighting on the dash where it will say Atlas or uh, Atlas Crossport, or if you get in the Peak Edition, it'll say Peak Edition in orange. Well, in the pictures it shows orange, but it's 30 colors, so it's going to change to whatever you change it to. Um, so leather seats are now standard. Um, and they do have this 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 quilted stitch, uh, but it's not the same diamond stitch they're doing in a premium. I don't think. They make it sound like they're different. 
Um, so head up display is standard now in the SEL and above. Um, predictive ACC, peak edition uh, for the SEL as well, but you will still get 18 inch tires on that one and the 18 inch black rims with black accents. So this will be the closest thing to an SEL R-Line black, uh, the peak edition will. Um, and then uh, easy open, easy close tailgate. Um, then uh, front assist, which is your emergency braking. Um, and then let's see here, last but not least, the SEL Premium R-Line. Okay, SEL Premium R-Line. Integrated front light bar, illuminated front and rear Volkswagen logos, rear fascia with integrated red light bar, uh, leather seats with diamond stitching pattern, Harman Kardon audio, head-up display, predictive adaptive cruise control, uh, easy open tailgate with easy close, front assist, which is your cyclist and uh, pedestrian monitoring, and that is the wheel, the same wheel, the same wheel that was on the Tiguan right there, the Tiguan SEL R-Line comes to the SEL Premium R-Line, all in. Okay, that's it. I got it to fit in the 22 minutes. Uh, that was my goal because I had 22 minutes of recording, 22 minutes and 52 seconds. I got it in. So I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of these changes. I'm going to be making videos of these cars as fast as I can. We got 40 of them coming in the Atlases and 13 cross sports coming. That's not a lot, but I'm going to try to make a video as many of those as I can so you guys can see up, up close and personal with my view, uh, with my eyes view of those cars. So uh, stay tuned to the channel. Uh, please subscribe. And guys, likes. I didn't know this, how much likes play into the channel and my uh, the algorithm of getting my videos played. Like a video. Like it every time. Thumbs up every time please please and thank you uh thanks to all 11,000 subscribers i've hit 9 million views didn't think that would be possible with this stuff uh but 9 million views wow okay i'm not i'm not one of those big guys that does that does hundreds of thousands of views a day but man i definitely appreciate each each and every one of you uh thank you very much i've just hit 2800 uploads too so we're good remember 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty in every new Volkswagen you buy from me. Also, six years of free maintenance. That's a local deal. You have to come to my dealer to get uh, the free oil change at number four, number five, and number six. But the first three are going to be in every car that I sell. First three are free. Um, and then also, um, I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Resales cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And see you next time.